Hey everybody, this is Chris De Silva, and today's tutorial is going to be about Framer Motion. So, uh, this is a pretty cool library that takes care of some pretty powerful animation without having to go nuts with your CSS or uh, rack your brain at uh, combining different properties and things like that. So, what I've got here is just a simple React um, setup. I've got a couple of different components going on here. So, I've got this form, which is a, a wrapper here and then a login and a sign up component and those are found in here and then I've just styled it up with with styled components and so what we've what we've got is this form that if uh, if if you're directing your users to some sort of landing page um, you can either have them come to this um, sign up form or toggle back and forth uh, to uh, to create a new account so uh, this is fine, but it would be nice if if that animation were smooth and something like frame or motion is super helpful uh, not only with animation but with um, this uh, feature called animate presence which which helps to animate um, components as they they uh, enter and exit the Dom so let's go ahead and and take a look at how this works so if I go over to my login component, um, up at the top, I'm going to also bring in uh, Animate Presence. And so I'm going to cut my login form to Animate Presence and paste it back in and hit Save. And right now, nothing's happening yet. You need to add a couple of properties to... Uh, to the com to the to the div that you're that you're animating when it uh, exits when it enters and when it's animating and so with this with styled components just a quick note um, I have this login form wrapper as a styled motion dot form so if you're um, not using styled components just make sure that you have it, and this is all in the documentation here, but just make sure you have it set up like this where you have the, the motion dot, uh, motion dot div or motion dot form or whatever it is that you're animating. So I'm going to go to this wrapper that I want to actually exhibit the, the animations here. I'm going to do exit. We'll set the, uh, we'll do opacity of zero when it exits. So when it unmounts, initial, we'll give it an opacity of zero, and then uh, animate, we'll give it an opacity of one. So this is pretty simple, straightforward. Let's see if it does anything without doing anything with the sign up. So right there, you can see now the, the login form um, has some animation to it. The, the sign up is still a little bit jumpy, but you can see it's starting to even get a little bit more smooth with, with just the one component animated. Now, if we go to the sign up, we can basically do the same thing. I'm going to cut this. I'm going to uh, make sure animate presence is imported, then set that up as my wrapper and paste. Hit save, and then remember again, sign up form is a styled motion dot form. If you're not using styled components, then this would just be, you know, your motion dot form. And make sure you have motion imported up here. But I'm using styled components, so I'm going to do it the way that I had it set up. And then basically the same thing. So I can just actually, uh, I'll just cut these property or copy these properties. And paste them. And now there's a nice smooth transition in between each. So that's pretty simple, but let's say you want to spice it up a little bit. So now we can add like, say like a little sli uh, little sliding animation. So we can do like X and let's do 100 on the, e on the exit and the initial. And then let's do an X of zero. And you see that little slide action going on. Um, and let's say, you know, we want to 
play around even more. Maybe you have uh, the Y at 100 on uh, exit and initial and then animate to zero. Whoops. So now it slides up or slides over depending on, on what you're doing. So it's really cool. You can play with these different properties and there's tons where you know you'd, you'd be setting transitions and transition properties and timing and all of that stuff in your CSS or maybe working with keyframes to try and simplif simplify things. Um, and that's all still totally valid, but uh, frame or motion makes things a lot, uh, a lot of those complex things much more simple. So take a look at the documentation. I'm going to come back with a couple more frame or motion videos, but I thought this was a cool one uh, just to animate those uh, those different forms. But you can do them with different components if you're doing like maybe you've got little blog post cards and you want to flip back and forth between the front and the back little descriptions or uh, portfolio projects. You could do something kind of similar if you're making up a portfolio page. So uh, this is a pretty quick one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and like the video and subscribe if you would. Uh, have a good day and I'll see you guys on the next one.